Good morning, greetings from Hindle Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So we thought, what the heck, we'll put a GPR exhaust on this here 2020 custom bike. And you see we have it all laid out here. Pretty simple install, looks like. Comes with new gaskets, zip ties, new acorn nuts, mount kit, clamps, heat shield, uh, looks like some intermediate pipes, uh, the high mount pipe, um, new J pipes, stainless steel, of course. Uh, just looking at the, the destructions to see um, looks like a whole bunch of pages to uh, talking about disassembly uh, written by some nice gentleman by the name of David thank you David um, tells you um, basically required tools all that good stuff tells you to disconnect the battery um, and of course the first steps are taking the exhaust off um, pretty self-explanatory removing your exhaust um, don't know why we need so many pages to do that but hey um, let's start here on page seven. First thing looks like we're going to put a stainless steel spacer on the right side um, so we're pulling the oh no we're going to put a distance ring on the left side okay why on the left side anyway we're going to do a time lapse video on the install um, one thing I will mention is it looks like where that pipe fishes up, I think it comes right up through here, uh, one of these locations. Anyway, what I'm going to do when I do this one is I'm going to take my upper struts loose and then take and lean the bike over. That will give me a lot more room, I think, um, to do it. Of course, the drive shaft will take it loose, take your two 13mm bolts loose, take the 22mm uh, nut off of there, um, slide that back, put that out of the way, and then lean the bike over is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get busy doing that. So the process is quite simple. What uh, what we're doing is, uh, I forgot, I guess you're taking the brackets off. Since we're taking the brackets off, that's why they were, we're talking about what, where that stainless steel spacer went. Um, goes there on your left foot peg there um, on the right side you're going to get the uh, bracket for the uh, the bracket for the exhaust will be over there on the right side so that's what that's where that uh, where that comes in I should have went ahead and kind of thought about that for a second before I uh, start talking about it but nonetheless um, we're doing somewhat of a time lapse I'll put some time lapse get clips in and maybe do a little bit of uh, voiceover um, but what I've done is I went ahead and took my top mounts loose uh, you may say, oh my goodness, now my sidecar alignment's all messed up. Well, no, your sidecar alignment's not all messed up because, you'll note, I did not break that loose. So this is in the same position, same thing on the front. Um, did not break those loose, so they're going back in the same position. So my lean angle's still going to be what it was before. Um, I did not take the ball and collet loose down at the bottom, so my toe end is still going to be in the same spot. So none of that has changed. Uh, you see there is enough... Uh, Enough flex there. We're putting upward pressure there on that brake clink, uh, so you may have to take this loose. Um, you know, if you if you needed to to bend over some more. But what I've done is I've twisted that over a little bit because that pipe has to come up through that hole. Um, in order to get the pipe up through the hole, I wanted more clearance. So we went ahead and we've got our drive shaft loose. Uh, you see here, just took the uh, two bolts out of there. Um, be careful you don't lose your lose your uh, top hat spacer that's in there. Um, piece of cake. So. We'll go ahead and get that pipe slipped up in there, um, get her put on, show you how it comes out. Give you, we'll give you a little bit of an update here. Um, of course, I leaned the sidecar over. Um, doesn't tell you to do that on the sidecar or lean the motorcycle over. Doesn't tell you to do that on the instructions, but I went ahead and did that. Of course, tells you to take this loose as we've done. Uh, slipped our pipe up in there. Everything's nice and loose. Um, it is, of course, hooked on. We've got our clamps up on there. Um, we haven't tightened the clamps down. We've went ahead and tightened. Uh, we've got our uh, J pipes on. Got our acorn nuts tightened down. No, we don't have the O2 sensors in yet. A little grease on the seat there from something. Uh, we'll clean that up after we're done. But uh, nonetheless, uh, we're getting ready to put the uh, rear bracket on here. Um, and some notes. You want to note 
this goes on the inside of the fender this goes on the outside um, so what how's that going to sit uh, that's going to sit like this um, those two bolts will get replaced this bolt will get replaced back here as well uh, that's going to sit on the inside of the fin or that's going to sit on the outside I'm sorry that's uh, going to sit outside like that and that's going to sit inside um, so we'll go ahead and put that on uh, of course those are the uh, fasteners here uh, we've got uh, you've got well, you got three different lengths bolts okay well, you know, not even having to look at the destructions to tell me which one. I know that the front uh, has a grab handle, or the uh, one has a grab handle on it, so that's obviously our longest one. Uh, and then our second longest one would obviously go on the front as well. Uh, and then that must be for the back. Um, three nylocks, do 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 do. Uh, judging by the number of washers, I'm going to assume um, we're using washers on the outside and on the inside. So there's two, four. Um, that would be six that would clean up all of our washers um, that would leave us with two nuts and here uh, so I would say these nuts go on the exhaust pipe uh, these are obviously for our heat shield and these obviously go in there so pretty self-explanatory we'll get her finished up here um, give you a couple more updates and then like I said I do have the video camera on a time lapse so we'll see what comes out of that and then I may do some voiceover on the time lapse just to give you some other some other tidbits pointers here and there um, it's pretty actually it's pretty simple install um, had some customers complained about how you know how how long it took to install one um, I'm not seeing where the uh, length of time is, but hey, uh, maybe some tips will help you guys be able to do it a lot quicker. So. So we're just about ready to stand the bike back up and hook things back together. Just wanted to double check there on the destructions to make sure that that was going the correct direction. Um, we haven't tightened foot pegs up yet. See that's loose. Um, you see how that fits through there. Uh, pretty snug. But it should work. Um, we'll, uh, I'll put that on first and then put these top links back together. I think prior, I think I'll go ahead and put that back together before I draw up the bolts just to double check like I said I've left everything loose you'll see how this is still loose here um, that's loose there it's pretty self-explanatory you know which bolt goes in which hole there's three different links bolts well you know there's three different links here so um, this being the middle this being the large and this being the small um, pretty simple to do there rubber grommets get inserted and then these get then inserted in the in the rubber grommet. Um, there's studs on the muffler. They'll go through. Uh, I think there's one more clamp. I don't where where my clamp went. It's around here someplace. We'll have to find findeth our clampeth. If we can't findeth our clampeth, we'll have a problem. If there's our clampeth, um, muffler will go on there. Anyway, we'll get her all hooked back up. Uh, don't know how much uh, this video will put out but hey if you're seeing it then that must mean we decided we put out some of it so we'll go ahead and get her get her finished up here
All right, so you saw me wrestling that a little bit. I uh, kind of messed up, had a little bit of a miscue, and uh, didn't quite do things in the proper order. Uh, but that's all right. Um, did go ahead and got her on. Uh, what I had done is I put the bracket on before I'd slipped the pipe up in here. Uh, and, of course, can't do that. Uh, so I had to take the bracket loose, uh, get that uh, modified there a little bit, um, flexed into place. Um, of course, we do have some fingerprints and whatnot on it. We'll be getting it cleaned up. Uh, it won't be a big deal. We won't start it till we get it cleaned up. I know you guys are going to want to hear the sound, so we're definitely going to do a video with the sound. Um, I'll do a clip there at the end with... Uh, with the tunes for sure because it does sound good i have had these on different uh urals before and they do sound very sweet uh you'll see there we have about five millimeter of clearance uh maybe a little bit less uh, that's the tricky part uh, that's why you saw me take the upper struts loose uh with the bike leaned over it gave me a little bit more clearance to get on there um just found it a little bit easier uh it doesn't say to do that in the destructions but uh um, that's that's our little tip that's what we do here that's what i recommend to a customer when he uh um, was putting his on in his garage uh, he was kind of hesitant about taking his uh top struts loose thought maybe it'd mess up his alignment but again as i mentioned before in that other clip as long as you don't break the lock nuts loose um being this right there or the one down there at the bottom same thing on the front uh, and you don't take the ball and call it loose you don't by any means take the cotter pin out of the uh, the ball and collet mount. Um, there's never any need to take this cotter pin out. Um, see what I can see. Well, I can't hardly see that way. Let's go up underneath that cotter pin right there. That's the one I'm talking about. Um, that cotter pin. Make sure I get it so there's only one in the in the in the video there. That cotter pin, the big one, uh, that holds the two halves of the ball and collet apart, or the two parts of the collet mount uh, holds them apart to keep them from twisting when you tighten up the bolt so there's never any need to take that out uh, we'll be getting the uh, uh, shaft put back on um, of course this was a top hat bushing that I was referring to that goes inside the seal it goes from the inside out and then the uh, 22 millimeter bolt then draws down on there make sure if you do take those bolts out like that uh, that you put uh, some loctite back on them uh, of course, here's one of your brackets. You'll want to, of course, save those in case you ever want to put the other exhaust back on. Um, but uh, that's pretty much the way it looks completed. Uh, like I say, got uh, oxygen sensors to put back in. Um, finish that up, uh, and then that part will be good to go. So, pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, there is clearance from the rod there, too. Um, it's about five millimeters, so. As with anything, you want to make sure all your nuts and bolts and screws and everything are tight. Um, never want to have a loose nut behind the handlebars, that's for sure. So.